One of the most time consuming and biggest frustrations to putting new software in your business is getting your existing data in that software. Entering it manually can take forever. So in order to make that a lot easier for you, I'm gonna show you how to import your customer list. We'll show you in this video how to do it from QuickBooks Desktop, and there's other videos for you that'll walk you through importing from a spreadsheet or importing from QuickBooks Online. So this video specifically is how to bring your customers in from QuickBooks Desktop. And if I'm good enough, I'll do it in less than 10 minutes, and you can too. I'll follow along with every step you need to do in this video. So if you stick with me, 10 or 15 minutes, every single customer you have in QuickBooks that's active anyway, should come into LMN. So follow along here. I'm gonna start from my actual LMN account, and I'm gonna to go to CRM and contacts. And as you can see here, I only have four contacts in my database, some sample that I've already put in and an extra one that I did for another video. To get started with the QuickBooks sync, you're gonna to wanna to go to LMN here to click QuickBooks, and you're gonna to wanna to click this setup. Once you've got this screen here, there's a button here that says click here to download the LMN QuickBooks Sync desktop app. And again, this is for desktop users only. Online users will use a different method, but I'm going to use desktop today in this video. So we're going to click that. And then that's going to download an application. I'm going to go down to my browser here and say open. And the first thing you're going to get is this uh, suspicious looking warning message. Now, Windows is doing this because it doesn't want you to just randomly download applications from the internet and install them on your computer. That's how you get viruses. In this case, it's not a virus. So we're going to go more info. There's a little link up here that said more info. And then I'm going to go down here to run anyway. Once that comes up, you should see the welcome to LMN QuickBook setup wizard. Go next. Choose where to install it, although you don't really need to change this. You may want to set this setting. Should I be able to use this or just yourself? It's your user account on your machine. I leave it at the default and I'm going to go next. It says it's ready. Click next to start it. Click next. You're going to get one more warning saying, are you sure? You say yes. And it's going to start installing. Now, after it installs, watch your taskbar at the bottom. Sometimes it comes up behind existing windows, but you should get this message. It's successful. Would you like to run it now? Yes. Now, here's an important note. To avoid a company file error, shut down QuickBooks before attempting your next sync. So if you've had QuickBooks open, it's a really good idea to close it down now, because if you try to sync when it's already open, sometimes error messages can come up. Hit yes to run it now. And you should get this screen here that's gonna allow us to get started. Now the first step that I'm gonna do is open QuickBooks. Once I've got this screen open, you'll find the process is easier if you've got QuickBooks open. Bear with me for a second now while we connect here on our company file. And actually, while that's opening, what we can do is get connected to LMN. To connect myself to LMN, I'm going to go to this step one here. Connect to your LMN account. I'm going to click that. Here, you're going to need to enter your username and your password. Now, the only people that can do a QuickBooks to LMN connection are either the admin user who set up your account or a user who has accounting permissions. So don't try these steps with somebody that doesn't have one of those two. They just won't work. It's to make sure that only certain people can access QuickBooks. So I'm going to put my username and password in here. I've already done that in this case, and we're going to click OK. And it's going to say authentication successful. If you don't get an authentication successful message, chances are you're trying to do this with a user that doesn't have permission to do this. Click OK when you're done. Now I'm going to go back to my QuickBooks file here and my password. What you're going to see in a minute is a fake QuickBooks file with a bunch of uh, customers already set up for me. It's probably what your QuickBooks looks like. You've got a list here of all your different customers and jobs and estimates, etc. Once you've got QuickBooks open, that's all you need to do. Minimize it and get it out of the way. It's just it needs to have your company file open to make a connection. Which is step two, connect to your QuickBooks company file. Click this step. It's going to say, please open your QuickBooks and log in using admin account. I've already done that. Click next when you're ready to continue. Now it's going to give you your company file and uh, file path and company file name. Now, one of the easiest ways to make sure you've got the right file path and company name is inside QuickBooks. If you press the key F2, it's right above the number two on your keyboard, but F2, that'll bring up this little screen here, which is kind of confusing, but this is all we're looking at here. Right here, this location, that tells you where your QuickBooks file is saved. 
So if you have no idea where it's saved, there you go, you know, and now you can come back to LMN here, go choose, and then you can search through your files and folders on your machine to make that connection to your QuickBooks company file. What you're doing here is picking where your company file is located so it can connect to that file. Once you've found that file, and I already have for this video, click OK. And once you get that message, you know you're good to go. So you can click OK. These two things now should have your LMN account here and your QuickBooks company file here. And now I'm ready to go. I'm just going to slide over here to import customers and jobs. That's the step we want to do next. So I'm going to click that one. Now it's going to say open QuickBooks and log in with an admin account. We've done that already, so I don't need to do that again. Next is review your customer list. We're not going to do this for this video, but it's a really, really good idea to do this before you import. If you've got a whole bunch of old customers still active in QuickBooks, you probably don't want to import all those in LMN. I strongly recommend you go through your QuickBooks and clean up your list. Deactivate old customers that you don't want in LMN first. You probably don't want them active in QuickBooks either. It's just slowing everything down. Once you've done that, you're ready to go to the next step, which is to click Next. And then you've got two choices here. For active or inactive QuickBooks customers, you have the option to either ignore inactive customers or import all your inactive customers. Generally, I'd recommend ignoring them. If they're inactive in QuickBooks, they're probably old. You probably don't want them in LMN. So I'm going to leave this option as ignore inactive QuickBooks customers. If you do want to import all your customers, regardless of whether they're active or inactive, just select that one. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to say run import. It's going to say, are you sure? I'm going to say, yep. It's going to think for a sec. It's going to submit it to LMN. And then it's going to say import complete. Close. I'm going to go back to LMN. I'm going to click CRM. And I'm going to go to contacts. And all my QuickBooks customers are now in LMN. If I open a customer, you can see here I've got the customer, their address, their city. They'll have contact people. In this case, I didn't have a contact person in, in QuickBooks. So it just set up one as unknown, which is fine. Now I can change it to a person. And I'll also have job sites set up here for that client as well. And that's all you need to get started with importing your QuickBooks data into LMN in 10 minutes check or less. If you had any questions or problems with this process, we're here to help and it's free. Reach up to the top of your screen, hit that live chat button and talk to us that way. We can do a screen share and probably help you get connected in five minutes or less, usually. Uh, if that fails, you can always check out goelmn.com slash help or advice at goelmn.com, especially if it's off hours. And we'll help you in those two channels the best we can. Thanks for watching.